Hi there, I'm Natalie Osborne, Chief Energizer with Positively Powered Professional Development, and I'm here with your Friday Fuel Up. As you know, the month of February is all about celebrating love and the Valentines around us. So I want to send a little extra love your way and say thank you for being one of my Valentines. And in today's Fuel Your Success tip, I want to shine the light on self-love. Yes, I want to take a few minutes to give you some tips to celebrate that Valentine who's been by your side your entire life, that Valentine that you've probably overlooked, you. Now, self-love isn't easy. And my friend Trisha likes to say that that journey from your head to your heart is one of the longest journeys that you'll ever take. And it is because we're told that having too much bravado or bragging about ourselves is a negative thing. But bragging about yourself and bravado is very different from self-love and having compassion and grace and having kindness for yourself. So I wanna give you a couple tips on how, just, on how to lean in to self-love, to spark a little confidence, and maybe even flex some of those <laughs> self-esteem muscles. So the first thing I want you to do is just think about and notice how you talk to yourself. Do you talk to yourself in the same way that you talk to the people that you love? Probably not. So I invite you to consider shifting how you talk to yourself. When you notice yourself criticizing yourself or cutting yourself down, take a pause. Say, thank you for sharing and breathe in and see if you can let that feeling go. Maybe it's posting sticky notes around the house with just little positive affirmations or positive messages to yourself, letting yourself know you got this. Because believe it or not, when you pass those sticky notes and those messages, subconsciously, they'll start wiring positive thoughts and more confidence within yourself. Here's another one that I love from Mel Robbins. When you pass by the mirror, give yourself a high five. Yeah. Just take a look in the mirror, give yourself a high five and celebrate who you are and that moment. Uh, let's see, what else can you do? Um, learn to say no. Say no to the things that are holding you back. Say no to the things that just don't bring you, no, bring you joy so that you can say yes to yourself. And importantly, honor the commitments that you've made your, with yourself. When you honor those commitments that you've made with yourself, whether it's getting up early or going to the gym or drinking water, those nourishing things that you do for yourself, believe it or not, you're actually wiring that confidence within yourself. You're saying, I can get this done by just following through with those little things each and every day. And if you make a mistake and if you forget something one day, that's okay. Give yourself some forgiveness, the same kind of forgiveness that you give a kid or your child, you know, when they're making a mistake. We don't beat someone up or our children up for the little mistakes they make. We help them grow. We help them evolve. Do the same thing with yourself. And lastly, what I want you to do before we sign off today is just give yourself a big old squeeze. Give yourself a hug. Embrace yourself because everyone needs a hug and you deserve it. So those are just a couple things that you can do to practice some self-love in recognizing the words you choose, giving yourself a high five, giving yourself some hugs, saying yes to yourself. So happy Valentine's Day and shine the light on self-love because you deserve it. You are worthy, you matter, you're special, and believe it or not, I love you. You are loved.